Mm, yes, billions and billions of miles across the cosmos. You can see them in my Carl Sagan wear. Nancy found some outfits for me today. Pretty good. I have to actually make some proper Cosmos videos, but uh, at the moment, what we're here for is um, Kerbal 0.19. I've already said that I wasn't going to make any more Kerbal videos because my computer's too slow. And I'm sort of sticking to that. I'm, I'm not playing a lot of Kerbal at the moment. I want to wait until I can get a better computer. Fair enough. You know all that. But um, what we are going to do is have a look at the new re-entry effect, because I think somebody... People have been asking me to crash that Enterprise that I built <clears throat> in Kerbal 0 0.18, whatever. So that's what we're going to do. going to need my protective gear. And I really do apologise for the lag. Um, if anybody wants to download this ship and do a good re-entry video on their super fast computer so it looks nice, you are welcome to do so. I, I mean, I'd appreciate it if you could link back to me and all that crap. Just say, uh, you know, Barry Dunn 12, yada yada. Because I didn't nick this ship from anywhere, I built it myself. Lots of hard work. I loaded it up from the previous Kerbal. I'm very happy to see that it still works. I didn't have to do any fucking around. Okay. Let's get away from that engine pod. Alright. So yeah, I really, you know, like, you know, it's probably pretty clear to anyone who's subscribed to this channel and never looked at a video that I'm really in love with the space game thing because uh, I am an astronomy nerd till death. <laughs> But anyway, where's the music? Oh, uh, what's it? Lights. I really do love the way this ship looks when it's lit up. It's just like the thing from the movie. Check it out. Oh man, this lag. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's because of my bad computer that I have the most underappreciated Kerbal videos in there. Yep. Are you, oh, yeah. what's wrong with these with me? What are they? Kiss beer. Kiss beer? Tell me what you think. Oh well, guys. Um, it's a taste test. See, our old sponsors, uh, Coca-Cola, have pulled out. Yes. So, um, Gene Simmons got in touch with this kiss. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I'll turn this music off. The taste test. The Barry Denon Twelve taste test. I mean, nobody ever accused us of being yeah. corporate, corporate oh, whores, corporate harlots. But let's face it. <laughs> oh, it's a boy. You got Paul Stanley. It's all over my It's foaming, it's definitely Paul Stanley. I just sucked up Paul Stanley foam. It's, um, it's all over my computer. <laughs> it's um You think in a, in a single man's bedroom that'd be terrible. In a single man's bedroom there'd be more tissues to hand, but there are none. Yes. <laughs> You'd think so. It's so what's it taste like? Well it tastes um, it's, uh, it's kind of watery. It says here the hottest beer in the world. I'm not sure about that. At night, mm. Just the same. Yeah. I've been a gambler, but I know by this room. And I sure know something. Sure know something. I've been things that never taught me in school. And I sure know something. Sure know something. Well, it just tastes like beer to me, but I mean, it is. It's just beer. It's um, not very strong. It's kind of inoffensive. See, I've got a couple of Milo sitting here, so I'm kind of getting a bit yeah. of a, a beery Milo beer sort taste. of. Um, just, I think they've put Milo in it. Got some tissues, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. 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 Alright. Now I'm jacking it to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> I'm washing my Mac with beer. This is getting weird. <laughs> beer on the way to do. Pretty sure this one. This, this beer must have been one of their drummers or something, because it's kind of unremarkable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the early 80s drummers that was replaced after two weeks or something. Yeah, on tour. Nobody remembers their name. You know. 
Well, I mean, you know, it's it's beer, I guess. It's... Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Really, not much I can say about it. It's not like it's nutty or anything. Or... Do you do you yeah. pay the kiss price tag? I don't know. You have to ask Gary that he bought it. Oh, oh, is it polite to ask? It's a present. It's a gift. Oh. Well, well, he he bought it right, thinking that he had, he'd keep these and that they'd, they'd be like worth something. But apparently, no, they're not. It's just like they're not moved with price or no one gives a shit. Not like the old Duff beer, right? <laughs> what? Sorry, it's 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 an exceedingly amusing idea to me. Is it any good? Hey, it's got a fucking broken string on it. Yeah, it does. It's more, it's more. So anyway, after that brief kiss interlude, back into the laggy land of laggy Kerbal for laggy webcam, laggy enterprise re-entry. Yeah. Oh God, I wish that I was Jesse's girl. Wish that I was Jesse's girl. <laughs> Why can't I be a woman like that? That is how it goes, isn't it? It's something like obviously okay. you should know it better than me, Paul. I just, you know, don't want to don't want to point the finger, but. Out of the two of us, you were the bigger fan. Oh, there's a bit of engine missing from my Enterprise. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to fast this forward until we get down to, like, the atmosphere. Okay, as I was saying before, the most unappreciated Kerbal videos on the internet. I'm kidding. I've actually, I actually get some nice comments. A, a lot of people do say like, "Oh man, the lag is so terrible," and like, I know. I'm sorry. I wish it was better. It will be when I get a new computer. Although that that plan might be on the skids for now. Because, uh, well, I might save that subject for the podcast, but let's just say I'm, I'm uh, not taking in any money at the moment. <laughs> All right. All right. I've been cut off. Sorry, man. But after the gigs, I might be able to. Um... Okay, so anyway, here we go. To the soundtrack of those guys playing music is the Enterprise re entering the atmosphere. We're going to see the new re entry effect. Oh, so it's tumbling, damn it. Why does it be the right way up on re entry? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Check it out. Get some serious speed now. I'm doing a because they've added the re-entry flames to the game, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn up the enterprise. Oh dear! Get out of there! Get out! Hang on, put the oh, My god, bones! <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. What you always do, Jim? You take a perfectly good starship and you bust it up. Oh, here we go. Here's the flames. Here we go. Bones, what are you saying? I'm saying, Jim, that there probably could have been a better way to resolve that than blowing up the flagship of the fleet. Bones, what are you talking about? I, I had to sacrifice the ship to save the crew. <laughs> Jim! <laughs> Has there ever been a Klingon we couldn't win a gunfight with? Ever? Ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's burning up! Jim. The, the frame rate's gone to shit. <laughs> Spock! Spock! <laughs> ship safe. Out of danger. <laughs> Yes, yes! Jim! Don't grieve, Admiral. Technical manuals. You <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have let Khan read. Oh, God damn it! You're bringing it up again! That was 20 years ago, Spock! <laughs> Come on! Have you ever written Milton, Captain? Yes, I believe I have. <laughs> never let anyone read the technical manuals when you should be. Milton never <laughs> said that! <laughs> I know, Captain, I was just busting your chops, as you so Americans say. <laughs> so I was giving you the shits. <laughs> okay, apart from the bad performance, that looks really awesome. It does look pretty good. I'm just waiting for the ship to... Because burning up. I'm going in the atmosphere. I love that fucking big speech McCoy does about... <laughs> Yeah. Like the millions of people. They say, Jim, and all the millions of the planets of the galaxy is only one of a, one of each of us. <laughs> Bones, what was the point of that speech? Oh, well, I think bits are coming off. Don't I didn't write the, the script, goddammit. <laughs> She's coming apart, Captain! Ah! Boo! 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> Why Yoda? <laughs> what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why the Yoda? <laughs> this has got nothing to do with Yoda, you well, fucking... Well, it just seemed to fit. I don't know. <laughs> 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 You're doing it too. What was the bloody theme music when that part was happening? Uh, they're not playing the theme. No, it's just a sort of an individual yeah, part of music. It's, oh. it's, it's, I can hear it. It's got timpani. <laughs> 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 My god, Bones, what have I done? What you always do? Jim, what you do you really want me to answer that question just being rhetorical? Well, it started with the technical manuals, Jim. Oh, look, he's got some... <laughs> What's that? Oh, but the has flown off the fucking thing. Mm. Yes, Captain, I've been studying the technical manuals of your ship. Now, I'll take it over a bloody coup. A bloody coup. I'll mount the takeover operation on your ship. Did I just say that or think that? Oh, sorry. Was I talking out loud again? <laughs> well, it's taking oh, a long this time. This guy seems to okay to me. <laughs> well, it, it, it slows down if you're on a shit computer. This all probably would have taken oh. like a minute. Um, but yeah. Hey, it stopped burning. Yeah, we're, we're out of the upper atmosphere now. We're slowing down. We're cruising. Hey, so it's just going to go plush. To a safe landing. Actually, no, last time I did this, uh, it just crashed into the water and everyone died. But, um. So couldn't you just coast it in and skip on the water? No. I haven't got any control over it. Oh, that's <clears> good. So you have to design a better ship then. There's nothing wrong with this ship. It's a great design. Oh, There's okay. bits coming off it. <laughs> I know. It's like Moses' bloody tablets oh, coming off. Yeah. So like I said earlier, if anybody wants to like get this design and make a video that doesn't lag on their super nice computer, by all means do so. Um, mm. I was really enjoying my Milo now, but this taste of kiss beer in my mouth. What does it taste like? It just tastes like beer. Jim Simmons balls? <laughs> it just tastes like beer, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to speed up, see if I can break the ship apart. I guarantee oh, you, on, every can contains one cell. Of my DNA. <laughs> Gene Simmons' tongue. DNA. Come on, Goofy. We want to see the calendar. Oh, shit. The command pod came out of the... No. No. Oh, what happened? Oh, my God, Bones. What have I done? What happened? Turned death into a fighting chance to live. The ship came apart. Oh, they're, they're all dying with faces of wonder. Is it heading for Australia? Oh, I don't know where it's heading. Okay. Usually winds up in Western Australia. Time to punch out, my son. We're breaking out of this this hellhole. <laughs> I don't know where the saucer section went. Well, like, there is. It snapped off. It's all There's going to be five. largely in one piece, surely. Unless it just sort of snapped apart because I sped the game up. And to think this all happened with the Shuttle Columbia in real life. Really? Can you actually build a ship that won't crash? I've built many ships that don't crash. Okay. What is this? Okay, the Inquisition. I've been to the moon before. I'm back. Really? I get the feeling, I mean, I'm alright at this game, but I get the feeling I'd be better if the computer wasn't so shitty. But then again, maybe not. I might not be in. Oh, look, steam's coming off me. He's going I thought they were tits. What's in there? He's dead! It's the Kerbal. It's his face of joy. Forever Lock. I thought it was a torso with ugly tits. I'm dead. Oh wow. Well. Is he dead? Yeah, he's just splashed in the water. Oh, but what is just? That's not fair, is it? He, he, he parachuted out. Well, history belongs to the brave, Helen. Okay. Anyway, that's that's the video I wanted to make. Just the quick entry thing. <clears throat> and yeah, here's my awesome bloody Carl Sagan outfit that Nancy. Uh, <clears throat> found today. I need to quit Kerbal. Is David coming today? Uh, he asked if Tina was coming. No. Um, no, but seriously, I mean, like, this this outfit. I can do my total, uh, dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, I would take, take my safety equipment off for a minute. No, he's cool, he looks good. I mean, so we have the red. This is an important feature of any Carl Sagan costume. And the jacket. The pants aren't quite very accurate. But um, they're the right colour, at least, so... Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best way to crack somebody up inside of this. There's no room in here, unfortunately. Anyway, that's that. No, you need to be playing them bongos to it. You're wearing that shit. <laughs>